What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World. There's a lot going on with Madden 23 Ultimate Team right now and I'm seeing a lot of newer viewers come in and also some of my veterans that are asking like, okay, G, what's going on? There's a lot of things that are happening with the game right now. New title update, what's new? Well, we're gonna kick it off with these couple tips right here. Uh, number one, the Anquan Bolden and the Warwick Dunn, those are the two that get the Legends Chem. All right, now, these two players, right? Some of you guys were saying that, you know, some of your stats were not tracking. I don't know if it's only because you're doing challenges um, and you were repeating the same challenge because you got to remember EA Sports adjust a lot of what they do as far as what they allow you to do to kind of, you know, get these things done. So right now with the way everything is set up, although I have Cameron Jordan in my lineup, I'm not really worried about using him because he's an active player. So more than likely, I'm not going to probably, you know, I'm, I'm going to check this in a second because I could actually try it right now to see if it works. But I just wanted you guys to know getting all five of these players give you plus one speed all right and they get every team's chemistry so because they get every team's chemistry if i decide to leave the legends theme team these five players are going to do a lot for me because i'm not going to have to spend heavy for certain players all right this is a very very important aspect because many of you guys are like yo you know i don't want to spend a lot of money uh you know i'm getting into the game or a lot of you guys are like yo i'm done with the game until rookie premieres either way if you're going to still engage with the game it's something that you should be very, very aware of, all right? This program is not as big of an L as we thought it was right away when they launched it simply because they do get every team's chemistry once you actually unlock it with the challenges and then put the players in your lineup to go ahead and get it done. So look, let me just show you guys what we're doing right now. As far as Anquan Bolden, the way that we did it, we just threw him in the card that we got from his challenges, right? Let me just show you what I did. All you Just put him in your lineup and then do their objectives that you see in that missions tab. And if something is not registering from challenges, try a solo battle. If the solo battle is not registering, try a head-to-head -head game. But if it's working for me, I, I think most of the people it'll work for. So it, it, are, it is going to be those few that there's a glitch in the system. Maybe you didn't update your game or there's some kind of thing going on with ju just in general. Uh, you maybe have to reset your console. It's a lot of stupid things that go on with the game, but you can fix it. All right. You guys can definitely fix it. So, um... We put him in the lineup, right? This is the, uh, you know, the other original, um, the 88 that you get from playing the, you know, the challenge. Once you put that in, you do all the objectives, you know, get the touchdowns, the passing yards, all that stuff. And then you get the card that we started off uh, the video with um, right here, the 93. Now, because we know he is obviously a retired player, he is going to get everything out. Like he's going to get the Legends Chem in addition to all the other chemistries. So you're getting all of this. So this is a very huge factor. I just wanted to make sure that I broke it down for you guys. It is a very, very huge factor for legend theme teams and also any other uh, theme team if you're using the other three. But remember, when you get all five of them together, you're gonna get this to all the Black History Month players. Strength, agility, speed, jump, spin move, juke move, power move, finesse move. You're gonna get that to all of them. So overall, it's still something that you should probably engage with. As far as the abilities, I don't see any reason that I would use him, but I'll give him the short in Elite for zero because any zero AP ability, it's like, all right, you know, we might as well go ahead and grab it. Uh, that, you know, it is what it is. So I just wanted to make sure you guys understood what was going on with that aspect of the game. Be sure to check it out and, um, you know, make sure you go to the missions tab and see what the objectives are to get those players up to 94, 93, whatever uh, you're going to get. But work done does get uh where's work done he gets something with zero ap also he gets the evasive um i don't know what else they did they probably changed up some of the stuff i thought he got two things for zero but when you go to his card he only gets the one thing uh now i'll show you guys really quickly with him because those are the only two i did again because i'm a legends theme team that's why i did it that way um again all 32 teams plus legends chem and then with his abilities this is a built-in zero and then he got everything you know Playmaker and red zone threat. I don't know why he's a red zone threat, but um, everything else, uh, you know, the short in elite is zero AP. You could put that on him, but it's like, it, it just doesn't make, like, why are we doing it type thing? But you never know. You might have to put him on a Texas route or something like that. Hot route him and, and see what he does against like a linebacker or something in coverage. Uh, but yeah, those are his abilities. He doesn't really get anything else that's appealing, but the evasive does make him move pretty well. He can get up to a 99 speed if you add all five of the Black History Month players and use a regular theme team. 
you know, whichever one, because he gets all 32 team chems. All right, so those tips, I know that that will help someone to understand exactly what they need to do. Like I said, it is worth it to go ahead and engage with the program if you're trying to raise your overall and not spend a lot of money. Now, for those of you guys that have been asking about Gronkowski, okay, gee, I'm very, very close to getting him. Is he worth it? What's going on with him? What's really happening? Now, remember this right here. I just want to make sure that I point this out, right? The deep out is not generally, um, you know, although it's 1 AP, it's not generally something that's really, really crazy, all right? Because I think they nerfed it a lot. I'm just pointing this out because I'm gonna go and tell you about the Super Bowl promo, how you guys are gonna get a lot of bonus XP for those of you guys that are stuck at a certain level. I'm gonna get to that in a second. But I've been getting a lot of questions about Vanguard. Gee, is it worth it, is it not? I stayed away from it because I didn't really notice that much of an influence with it. If you guys want me to test it out, I will do that for you. Not a big deal, just let me know in the comments if you need to test it out, and I will go ahead and test it out. But I've tested it out as an X Factor, and it's never usually good. Now, when you put it on him as just his thing, it could be a problem, it could be glitched. So all you gotta do is let me know in the comments, yo G, can you test out Vanguard? I got you guys, all right? But he does get a lot of decent abilities, and uh, he does get that short in Elite uh, for zero. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these things that are gonna help you to unlock Gronk sooner than later, even if your level is not near 51 right now. By tomorrow when they drop the Super Bowl part two, you're gonna be good to go. Okay, G, how are we doing this? What's the, what's the plan of attack? Number one, right? I know it, I know it, like every time I say it to you guys, you guys rage at me, challenges, all right? If you're not done with these, what's gonna happen is, and we've seen this before, it's a chance that EA may glitch these out and you may have trouble getting them done after the new launch. I'm just saying it, it's not necessarily true that it's always gonna happen, but it happened to me before with previous field passes. When I didn't do it, EA glitched it up and it just removed the actual objectives. All I'm gonna suggest is that you run through these challenges and get all of the Super Bowl uh, XP from it because I think it's worth it and it's not that difficult to do. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't, I'm not saying you have to do it. I'm just saying that it makes a lot easier if you're looking to get that XP. Stats, very, very easy with the passing. You could do that in like two solos. The sets, I showed you guys how to do this. Pretty much I made collectibles to bet on the Super Bowl with the game and then I put those bets in like, you know, no points at the half, whatever, touchdowns, who wins. And I just did those sets over and over again and they actually glitched it. I only did it like four times and I got all 15 sets. More than likely, they're gonna add a few more. Uh, and then head to head, they're gonna add more options to probably win more games. The bottom line is if you've been doing your daily objectives and everything else, you're gonna be pretty good to go soon. If you haven't received all your ring fragments, you're gonna get more of those. Um, and like I said, more XP. And then you'll be able to finish it out and then ultimately get a free 94 overall Super Bowl Hero Fantasy Pack, which is auctionable. Now, if you've done uh, if you've done a lot of this already, you're not gonna have any issue probably maxing this out once they drop the promo. If you're behind the eight ball, you need to get engaged with this promo now, so that way you're not really you know looking in from the outside, dude. Well, looking, yeah, hold up, you're looking in from the outside? Yeah, that's how it goes, right? Cause you hating from outside the club? I don't know, but it doesn't really matter. And then ultimately the competitive pass. You guys wanna focus in on getting these things done. If you're not that strong of head-to-head -head players, focus in on solo battles and whatever division you're in with head-to-head. -head. Mutt champs, get as many as you can, obviously, but there's a lot of XP in the competitive pass, so you wanna focus in on that as well. These things are here for all of you guys to go ahead and take advantage of. So make sure you guys get those done. Let me know if you have any other questions or comments or if there's something else that's going on. As far as people that are getting B and D cards uh, because of a new update from EA, I will look into that as soon as possible, but I haven't received a lot of feedback uh, from people that it's affecting. So we will take a look at that uh, you know, sooner than later. I wanna thank you guys and girls for watching. Hopefully you're having a blessed day. Leave all the questions or comments you may have. Appreciate all you guys. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.